Welcome to our vBulletin training video on how to store attachments in the file system. You'll need to have access to your server via an FTP client shell or hosted control panel. Since we're already logged into the admin CP, our first step is going to be looking at the attachments, attachment storage type settings. Here you'll see the first page to get started, so click on the go button. At this point, we need a full system path to your attachments folder. If you don't already know it, you'll need to find it. So navigate down to the Maintenance section. Click on View PHP Info and open it in a new browser. If you scroll all the way down your new browser, you'll see a few bits of data showing you where the current file is and where the web server's document root is. Now, it's important that you try to store your vBulletin attachments folder where it is not web accessible. If this is not possible, ask your host to help you configure that folder to not allow anyone to access it via the web server. So we're going to launch our FTP client and get into creating a folder. Next, I'll create a folder called attachments. So it'll be backslash home backslash walker a backslash public under dash HTML backslash attachments. It's important that we set our permissions on this folder to 777. Now that we're done with that, we can go back to the admin CP and save the settings. Assuming that the permissions are correct, you should get prompted to convert the pictures. Do so. The system will process your attachments, if any, and move them into the correct folders. Make sure that the total attachments in the database match the total attachments process. Those should be the same numbers. If everything looks good, finalize the move. Thank you for choosing vBulletin 5 Connect.